Hello everybody, I am Tamanna Mustafa from Michigan State University, United States. I am going to make a presentation on a contrastive analysis between Bangla and English phonology, some pedagogical recommendations. Uh, uh, Bangla is an Indo-European language and it is an Eastern variety of an Indic language closely related to Sanskrit. Bangla is spoken by more than 100 million people in Bangladesh and in the eastern part of India. Now this study will focus on the standard colloquial Bangla, although Bangla has many dialectal variations. On the other hand, English is one of the most widely spoken languages of the world and this study will follow the phonological norms of British English, although English also has many dialectal variations. Uh, regarding contrastive analysis, as we know, according to Lado, uh, the contrastive analysis hypothesis is based on the belief that students transfer the habits of the native language in learning a second or foreign language and the structural features of the target language that are similar to those of the native language will be easy to learn while those that are different will be difficult. So the purpose of the study is to point out the difficulties that native Bengali students might face in learning English pronunciation and the study will do so by contrasting the phonological systems of standard colloquial Bangla and British English at both segmental and suprasegmental levels. This study will also propose some pedagogical approaches to help students acquire the appropriate pronunciation of the phonemes and stress patterns of English. Especially, this uh, study will propose the pedagogical approaches to help Bangladeshi ESL students to acquire the phonemes and stress patterns of English. Now, first of all, we will take a look at the sound inventory of British English. Uh, now, here is a chart of British English consonants. Uh, this is from Roche 2000. As you can see, according to manner of articulation, uh, British English consonants can be plosive, fricative, apricate, nasal, lateral, or approximant. And according to places of articulation, this can be bilabial, labiodental, dental, alveolar, palatal, alveolar, palatal, velar, or glottal. These are British English short vowels. Uh, so according to tongue height and tongue position, this could be high, mid, low or front, central, back. These are the long vowels of British English. This could also be high, mid, low or front, central, back. Now, English has eight diphthongs. The diphthongs are vowels that consist of a movement or glide from one vowels to another. So, and uh, there are centering diphthongs like ia, ea, oa, and there are closing diphthongs like a, i, i, o, ao. Now, in English syllable structure, consonant clusters in offsets and quotas are quite common. For example, uh, in, in the word string, there is a cluster of three consonants in onset position, and in the word prompts, there is a cluster of four consonants in quota position. We will take a look at uh, the sound inventory of Bangla language. Uh, now, in terms of the manner of articulation, Bangla consonants could be so stops, nasals, laterals, flaps, and spirants. Now, this is a chart of Bangla consonants. So this is from Dimakatel, 1976. And uh, as you can see uh, in the chart, uh, the aspirated and unaspirated stops in Bangla are in contrastive distribution. Uh, so, because the aspiration in Bangla language is a phonemic feature, and as we, we also can see, Bangla has three spirants, the fricative, sa, sha, ha, and all of these are voiceless, and Bangla also has two flaps. These are the vowels of Bangla and according to tongue height and tongue position this can be high, mid, uh, low, mid or low and front, central or back. 
Now all of these the oral vowels have their corresponding nasalized form and in Bangla nasalization is a phonemic feature. That, uh, that is the nasalization of vowels can make a meaning difference in Bangla. So for example, uh, as you can see in this chart, uh, uh, there are some minimal pairs. That, so uh, as we can, uh, um, as we see in the first example, in the word kacha, uh, the meaning is washcloth. But if the oral vowel a is replaced with its nasalized form kacha, the meaning uh, change the meaning changes to yang. So there are other examples also that proves nasalization in Bangla is a phonemic feature. On the other hand, in English, nasalization of us is not a phonemic feature. And although all the words of Bangla can be short or long, vowel length is not a phonemic feature in Bangla. Now, in Bangla syllable structure, uh, initial and final consonant clusters are rare or almost non-existent, but medial consonant clusters are frequent. And one characteristic feature, one characteristic feature of Bangla medial consonant clusters is that almost every consonant can be doubled or they can occur geminate. And here is an example of minimal pair. Uh, for example, the word bhago means go away. But if uh, the medial consonant ga is replaced by its geminate form bhago, the meaning becomes lack.